Hi, it's Sharon again, the Architect Coach, and I'd like to bring you another edition of Top 10 Enterprise Architecture Questions. Today I've got question number three, where can I develop my skills in enterprise architecture? So I am the Architect Coach and a mentor, and I have a little bit of info about me today that's going to set some context for you. I am a coach and a mentor, but I specialize in enterprise architecture careers, and I help organizations figure out where people belong in the program or enterprise architecture programs. I help them define their roles and figure out how they best move through that enterprise architecture program in getting it set up and figuring out who's going to do what. So today I just want to fill in a little bit of those blanks about how you can get the uh, experience you need to become a contributor. I've got some information for you at one of my websites, architectcoach.com, as well as my book site, zoomfactorbook.com. In case you didn't know this, I am the author of Zoom Factor for the Enterprise Architect, how to focus and accelerate your career. Still, uh, as far as I know to this day, the only career guide in enterprise architecture. So let's move on here. How can you get experience in enterprise architecture? And my biggest um, and best answer is practice. Practice opportunities are all around you. You'll want to search for these in your organization. And there's two different ways you might do this. You can volunteer as a contributor to the enterprise architecture team if you've got a good relationship with that person who runs that team, or you can extend your responsibilities within the enterprise architecture team. Usually the enterprise architecture team is led by the chief architect or perhaps the enterprise architect senior lead or practice lead every organization is different and so whatever that is inside your organization you want to make yourself known if you're not part of that group and say hey I would really like to help and here's my skills and most often the enterprise architect responsible for that program it will be very very happy to get your help they are often short-staffed and they need um, all the contributions they can get if you happen to know of some models or artifacts or some information that the enterprise architecture team could use in building the architecture, they would welcome that with open arms for the most part. Sometimes maybe not so much if, if potentially you are, are um, not necessarily known as a friendly or just not known at all. They might just be a little bit more skeptical, but trust me, let yourself be known. Now, the second uh, recommendation I'd have is to extend your responsibilities within the EA team. And I'm going to turn to the next page, give you some examples, and I am going to show you how you can up your game. So the opportunities that lie within the Enterprise Architecture team are shown here on this diagram. This is one that came out of my book, Zoom Factor for the Enterprise Architect, and it is a section in which I do two couple of things. I help organizations figure out um, you know, what the sliding scale of skills might be where you know, you're going to find people that come from a technical background and you're going to want to up their game so that they advance to having great consulting skills, skills in around the politics around the business and the information technology area. They are very strong in strategy and of course become great leaders. And so on this diagram I have little call outs with boxes. And in each box lies the work that has to be done in order to complete or fill in the enterprise architecture program. So an enterprise architecture program is never done, but when I say complete, there is a planning stage and there's a building stage and there's a maintain stage. And if you are early in the game at your organization, you are going to have lots of opportunity to contribute if you are in build. And so some of the great starter practice might start with that lower box. Most likely, you, if you are not already an enterprise architect, you are a technician or a technology specialist in your organization. And so you may have some skills in one of the domain areas, domains being applications, business, information, and technology. And the enterprise architecture team are looking to collect a set of current state deliverables current state in the areas of models, lists, 
and other artifacts. So you might want to volunteer to help create some of these. You might also get to work in helping them do the gap analysis. So for example, if you have a long experience at your company, you might know how things have been, not necessarily that they want a history lesson, but sometimes some of that history and why things are the way they are and how things have moved might help them get great introspective on the way things could or might go. So gap analysis and contribution there would be a great help for you or a great uh, piece of experience. Uh, helping them, maybe uh, volunteering to do some repository updates, potentially going through the repository and taking a look at what might be new or need freshening. Absolutely contribute with models, especially if you're a person who knows of some existing models. And sometimes it's a little bit of a, an expedition as far as, uh, or exploration as far as finding those. And that's the way I typically recommend somebody do their current state is use what is out there. Now you also, now okay, we're going to do that by volunteering to the Enterprise Architecture Program Leader as leader as a contributor. So there are people that contribute and then there is the Enterprise Architecture team which is typically smaller in nature. Um, on my recommendation is typically on average a three to five person team depends on the organization. You might be very large and distributed and this might be uh, you know might be a lot bigger than that. The, the last point here is that I could recommend that you extend your responsibilities within the team by asking for escalating assignments. So let's say you know your position inside the enterprise architecture team has been where you have been a modeler, you've been working on projects, and you come in and out of the enterprise architecture team. You maybe you've already done something in and around the consulting area where you've helped define some process, maybe you've been doing some analysis on the trends in the different technology and solutions area, potentially you've been involved in the governance practices, maybe you've been on projects. Now let's say you want to take another step up. Let's say it's in politics or, or you know becoming more politically aware. Well perhaps you offer to help in some of the tool selection or some of the development of the standards your organization is going to use. These things are typically riddled with politics because of the parties involved and uh, of course because it is a big change. And so this is some experience that you're going to want to gain. Depending on where you are in your enterprise architecture journey, you might step up towards the uh, into the strategy platform, helping more on the state for future state, some of the areas around portfolio management, and potentially some of the planning of the transition or the implementation of the architecture. Finally, you know, if you've been around for a really long time or you've got a really a lot of experience, you're most likely going to really take a leadership role. And again, um, that's typically not something that you end up asking for, but if you are seeking that kind of experience, asking if there's some ways that you contribute by championing a solution or going out and doing some communication with some of the organization, that would be a great help and absolutely good experience for you. So, on conclusion, I just want to call you to action. Talk to your chief architect or EA program lead and see what else you can do. Uh, I invite you to connect with me on LinkedIn group. It's a, a new group, uh, relatively new, new for 2013, called Enterprise Architect Careers. I'm really hoping to carry this discussion into there. I've been posting almost daily with some articles and getting some feedback from some various people on the subject of careers. So hope to see you there. If not, you know what, check out my blogs. I hope to uh, continue with posting some good, uh, good career tips and information there. And if not, see you at question number four.